What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Insurgents. Blossom is feeling nice today and she's standing in front of our face, but we are in Kepler Town after last episode. Things got very, very intense. We took down the Abyssal Cult Leader Audrey one last time and I'm pretty sure she actually was taken down for good as in she's dead now, but not before revealing a very crazy secret because our very own friend from the very beginning of this journey, Damien, turns out to be the son of Audrey, the son of a cult leader, and now he's turned into a human Pokebris hybrid Deoxys thing. It's pretty crazy, but today we're going to slow things down a little bit because we have got to settle one debate for all the ages. For all time, we've got to settle who is the real owner of the poop hat. You can see we've got our own poop hat here, but the Kepler City Gym Leader has got her own poop hat. And so today we're going to be taking on the fifth gym in this game to settle once and for all who is the true owner of the poop hat. So if you guys are excited for another episode, make sure to leave a like. And this is actually the final video of my little California adventure. You guys might know from the previous few that I said I was hanging out here with my cousin and he's actually here in this last video. I don't know if he's gonna say hi though. He's just chilling. Are you? Hi. Oh, hey, there he is. So he's just here chilling watching me make these because I guess he watches a lot of my videos and I even made a little video with him uh, where we animated this little Charizard. So you can check that out on Twitter if you want to. But it looks like this gym uses both steel and electric types. Take this for luck. Dude, I don't think fresh waters are gonna do us too much help at this point, man. They heal us for like 50 HP. Our Pokemon are over level 50 at this point. Well, Blossom isn't quite level 50 yet, uh, but this is a steel and electric type gym. Uh, that's one good thing for Blossom because she can handle steel types pretty easily, but kind of bad because steel types or electric types rather kind of mess her up. So we'll see how Blossom does in here. I do think Right now, she's our lowest level Pokemon, so I wanted to start using her a little bit more. Uh, so I gave her the Lucky Egg. I'm a master of machines and electricity. You don't stand a chance. Hey, this guy we were just battling in the uh, Maelstrom 9, the Abyssal place, whatever. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. The Abyssal Colts uh, hidden base of operations was in the middle of a whirlpool of some sort. And there were a lot of scientists in there, and maybe this is one of them. But looks like he's starting off with a Rotom, which is at a very, very high level. And I actually have no idea what I'm even going to do against it because Rotom has Levitate. Yeah, level 54. Okay, maybe I should have done some training with the uh, Blissey Trainer. feel like that might have been a good idea. I feel like a lot of people probably told me to do so, but once again, I was not listening, aka I don't know what's wrong with me, but uh, maybe we'll have to do that before we take on the Gym Leader. But I feel like we can at least take down the Gym Trainers as he's going to keep on hexing us. Good thing we're not actually... Um, have a status ailment on us right now because those would be doing like double damage I think is what it does which is pretty ridiculous considering how much it's doing to us already so looks like we're not gonna have an easy time in this gym uh, most of the gyms lately haven't been an easy time but I guess this one because it was steel and electric type I thought maybe we would have a good time because we have goggles and blossom two Pokemon that are pretty strong against those typings but Nope, they're not going to make things easy for us. Uh, Scizor, though, that's something that Blossom can definitely handle and get some good old EXP off of the Lucky Egg. Uh, so for now, I guess we'll just take on the Gym Trainers, and then if it turns out that they are too much of a pain to deal with, then I'll definitely go back to the Secret Base for a little bit and invest in some Blissey Trainers. I don't know if I've actually shown that off on video yet, uh, but there is this trainer in your Secret Base. I'm pretty sure I've showed it off, but I'm not sure if... Like, I know I've mentioned it, but I don't know if I've actually showed it. But there's this trainer, and you pay him, like, $5,000, and he's got three, like, level 50 Blissies or 60 or something. Um, or Audinos, actually, in this game. They're not Blissies at all. Um, and they give you tons and tons of experience, so it makes training in this game a whole lot easier, uh, especially if you've got some money, which now it looks like we've got because we just picked up almost 3k from that dude alone. We've got 62,000 money in the bank. Pimpin' is easy, apparently, when you got Blossom around with you. Um, that's another thing that I didn't realize or haven't mentioned at all, is that now the game actually does have the 5th and 6th generation Pokemon following you sprites, which is pretty awesome. They look really good, too. Um, because if you don't know, this was a feature exclusive to Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver, which was a 4th gen game. So they definitely did not have these when it came around time to do Pokemon Black and White. And especially not when they came around to Pokemon X and Y, because they had all the fully 3D animated sprites at that point. So definitely no little 2D Pokemon following you sprites, but they did a really good job with making the little follower sprites in this game, I feel. I don't know who exactly made those, but I do know that Blossom is donezo. Look at that explosion. 
I love Fortress. I love it so much. I probably should have seen that coming there, but I guess I didn't. So we'll go for goggles, just expecting some kind of electric or uh, steel type. The only problem will be, honestly, uh, things with levitate, so something like... Oh, wait! Goggles doesn't even have uh, a, a ground move. I couldn't even think of what I was trying to say. He doesn't even have a ground move, so that's no bueno, man. I think he used to have uh, Earthquake or Earth Power, but because it is usually a Mega Flygon, and Mega Flygon is Dragon and Bug, and no longer uh, ground type, I've realized that we should probably go pick up Kimmy from the Pokemon Center. Kimmy's our long-standing pal now of a Marowak. Um, I was hoping to evolve into Mega Marowak since that's in this game, but we haven't actually found the Mega Stone for it yet, so I decided to put Kimmy in the box for a little while. Now I'm starting to reconsider because Goggles doesn't even have any ground type attacks, so we might have to go hit up the Move Relearner or, um, yeah, because the thing is, we don't we don't have to Mega Evolve Goggles, you know, we can keep him as a regular Flygon, and he'll still do some good damage if he's got Earthquake or something. Let me check out the stats. Yep, he's definitely got a higher attack than Special Attack when he's normal, um, but when he's Mega Flygon, I'm sure his Special Attack skyrockets for a little bit, so we can always get rid of Dragon Breath. Uh, Dracon Voice is a little bit low accuracy, but if it hits, it'll almost guarantee a kill as a Mega Flygon, so it wouldn't hurt us at all to have, like, um, Earthquake. Plus, it would give us ground coverage, plus it would also give us some physical coverage in case we run into some, like, special bulky Pokemon. Um, special defensive bulky, I mean. Uh, but for now, I guess we'll settle with what we've been dealt with the the hand that i dealt myself actually because it's all my own fault um all right mistake up first is not too bad i guess we'll, we'll keep it for this battle electric type pokemon are the strongest of all you think so lady because i'm not so sure uh speaking of electric types though i actually checked out the um the title screen of the game this time around since now that we defeated uh audrey it's no longer Kyogre. Now that we took down Primal Kyogre in the last episode, it's actually changed over to Zekrom. So, one thing that I always mention and really like about this game is the changing title screen. Every time a major event goes down, the title screen changes, and now it's actually changed over to Zekrom. So, pretty crazy stuff there. I don't know when Zekrom's gonna end up showing up in the game. Maybe the gym leader here is actually pals with Zekrom, because I know that, um... The very first gym leader in this game, I forgot his name, I think it was Onion or Orion or something. Oh yeah, Onion Kid, that was it. It was Orion, so we're, we'll call him Onion Kid though. He had Reshiram, uh, which came from a magic white rock that talked to him. I thought it was just his imaginary friend, but it turns out it was Zekrom. So maybe this gym leader here actually has a magical talking rock as well, and it might end up turning into Zekrom. But I guess we'll find out. Maybe it's even the poop hat on her head. It might not even be a poop hat. It might actually turn out to be uh, Zekrom's magic rock or something. I don't know. We'll find out, but we got to get to the gym leader first. And it's proving to be a little bit tougher than I thought because our Pokemon are definitely not faring too well against these electric types. Uh, Morgana got super duper beefed up in the last uh, episode, actually. We got her all the way to 56. She learned Thunderbolt as well, which I thought would be really helpful, but... Not against this gym. It was helpful against Audrey. I mean, I think Morgana literally swept her entire team. So yeah, it was definitely helpful against Ari, Audrey. But in an electric and steel type gym, not as much. Especially with the attack that Morgana's got. The other ones that she's got are Ice Beam. Um, Calm Mind is okay, I guess, just for powering up. But even still with the power-ups, we're not going to be doing any damage. So I guess we'll go ahead and Mega Evolve against these, this Electros here. Actually, one of my favorite 5th gen Pokemon. I don't know why, it just looks so weird, and it's like, pure electric type with levitate, so it can't even be hit by them ground type attacks, so we're just gonna go for all our power, Dracon voice, maximum status here with Goggles, and it's not even enough to take it down. Come on, Goggles. I was trying to prove the point that you were strong even without Earthquake, but now you're just proving me wrong, buddy. Definitely proving me wrong. And here comes Rotom, so another levitating electric type. I'm gonna assume that the gym leader is gonna have a lot of these because that's kind of the uh, major weakness of electric types is only ground type attacks. So having, um, what is it, levitate pretty much makes you immune to a lot of things, especially if you're like electric and something that you're not secondarily weak to, which is pretty much only Electros. Like, imagine, um, what is that other Pokemon? Thunderous? Yeah, Thunderous is pretty good, too, because it's flying electric, so it can just, um, what is it? It can just fly above the air and not get hit by ground-type attacks, but it is weak to ice and stuff. Rotom, only weak to dark and maybe something else that I can't think of right now, but Electros, one of the few Pokemon without a weakness, because it's only pure electric 
And because it's got Levitate and Electric's only weakness is Ground, it can't be hit by anything super effective, really. So, pretty good Pokemon. Maybe that's why I originally started liking it. But, right now we're dealing with uh, Steel-type. Another Levitating Pokemon, though. Look at that. They all have Levitate. It's like... It's pretty obvious that that's what they were going to do, but I guess, um, I didn't really think this all the way through. I just kind of thought, you know, we got some ground types, let's throw them in there. Maybe they'll do well in the gym against the leader especially, um, but we'll send out Fedoro against Bronzong. I don't think there's really much that Bronzong can do to hurt us, and we still got that Milady attack. Tip, tip, tip the Fedora, but we're not going to go for it. We're actually just going to crunch it down, and I know that this game is now updated all the way to the, uh, X and Y standards so crunch definitely super effective here wowzers my screen just went blank and i can't see what's going on actually i still can see what's going on but it helps to be able to see the game when you're playing it doesn't it but now i can see it so we're all good we're gonna get a level up off of that too that crunch did a lot of damage that was actually pretty nasty as electrode comes out up next i have a feeling this thing is gonna just explode on us so i'll just keep fedoro in oh no nope, it's actually just gonna Try to take us down with some nice electric attacks. Why didn't I see that coming? I don't know. Oh boy. Electro's actually a very, very fast Pokemon though. Um, which is something that I always tend to forget. So we'll go for Morgana who can maybe just sit here and tank for a little bit. She's so high level that I don't really want to use Morgana all that much. Oh, and they've got Magnet Rise. How could we forget about that? Even if you're an electric type without Levitate, you can just get Magnet Rise and then make yourself have Levitate. How about that? Isn't that just... That's fantastic, so I really hope that the Gym Leader's Pokemon don't have Magnet Rise, because that'll just make things even worse for us if we go and do pull out Kimmy from uh, the Pokemon Center. Uh, we can either pull out Kimmy, or we can just, um, our other option is just to teach Goggles like Earthquake, or maybe he can learn Earth Power. I feel like that would be better, because then he would utilize, or she would utilize her special attack as well. Um, but last Pokemon for this lady here is Kling Clang, which I think is just a steel type so this thunderbolt should he hit it pretty pretty powerful there a dank thunderbolt to the face and you can see i actually put the life orb on morgana um so that should be kind of helpful as well but i don't know i because i have leftovers and i have life orb and i know that they do almost the exact opposite of things leftovers it helps you be a little bit more tanky healing you up and then life orb takes away to make you more powerful but i think on morgana because she's kind of our all-out special attacker. I think it's pretty good to have that Life Orb. And then Mistake is kind of our more tanky special attacker, I guess. Um, but with that Gym Trainer down, I believe that brings us all the way up to the Gym Leader. And you can see, I actually don't think that's a poop hat at all, but we're going to save the game because I don't even think I can take her on right now. We should actually just head back and heal up our Pokemon. Ooh, I like her Stadium though. It looks really nice. So we'll take on whatever this Gym Leader's name, Anastasia, I just remembered. We will take her on in just a second after we go and heal up. We're up in the Pokemon Center because it looks like you can actually get yourself a move relearner in the secret base. So if you don't know how to get to your secret base, boom, there's a secret compartment entrance thing behind the bookcase in the Pokemon Center. Um, and I think I actually might already have a move relearner. Look at that. Man, am I pumped. Give me a heart skill and I'll let you relearn some moves. So we're definitely interested in this. And we're going to hit up Goggles with that move relearner. Uh, it looks like we do have some heart skills. So that's pretty good. Uh, there's Earthquake. Doesn't have a physical or a special Earth attack though. Um, I was hoping that maybe he had Earth power. Bulldoze is not too bad. But I think it's also, does it even say if it's physical or special? I know that Bulldoze is physical. But hey, there's Earth power actually. So I'm thinking either Earthquake or Earth power. Um, Earthquake would be better because, you know, our Flygon, when it's not Mega Evolved, has a better physical attack. But, when it's not, it's got a way better, or when it is Mega Evolved, it's got a way better special attack. So, should we go for Earth Power or Earthquake? They both have the same accuracy, just 10 less. I think I'm gonna go for Earth Power because even though our attack is lower on regular Flygon, it's not by that much. So, we're most of the time gonna be Mega Evolved anyway. Um, and I also have a TM, hmm, I think I should get rid of... Ancient Roar, because even though we have that ability that boosts um, screaming attacks, I just don't think it's going to be that helpful. And we also learn Dragon Pulse, which I think would be way more helpful. So I'm going to get rid of Ancient Roar. Maybe not my smartest idea here, but I think Earth Power will be better. And then we can also give ourselves Dragon Pulse instead of Dragon Breath. Dragon Breath has that added side effect that it can paralyze, but it barely ever does that. And if we really want to reliably paralyze someone, we also have Live Wire on Morgana. So yeah. Lots more power on Dragon Pulse, a little bit more accuracy there, just a little bit less PP. So I don't know if this trade-off is actually 
worth it or not, uh, but, you know, I guess we'll find out after the gym. At least we got ourselves a ground type attack. We also have New Moon, not too great. Um, oh, we have Thunder Wave, so yeah, there we go. If we wanted an even more reliable way of uh, paralyzing people, we also have that, but I don't think that's going to be too good against that um, electric and whatever gym. So, what else do we got? We've got Incinerate, which is not too good, but... It is a stronger attack for fire types. Hmm, I wonder how much damage this actually does. I really wish we had like a stronger fire attack than flame charge. This one is 60. If the target's holding a berry, it becomes burnt up and it does more damage, I think. But yeah, I don't think it does very much more. I just wish that we had like a better attack than uh, flame charge, but we really don't. So wait a second. Move Relearner is right here and Talonflame gets the best attacks from level one. But I don't have any hard scales, so uh... Rest in pepperonis, man. Heart scales are pretty hard to come across in this game, I feel. I know you can usually get them pretty easily off of love discs, but do I really feel like going off and hunting down some love discs right now? Not really. You can also get them from rock smashing, but I'm not sure where the best place to do that is either. So even though having Flare Blitz would probably guarantee us the victory against this gym leader, I'm just feeling a tad bit lazy, so I don't think we're going to do that. I could feel like a Blossom would actually be really good if we gave her like a bulk up with Roost and Flare Blitz kind of set, um, and Brave Bird. That's like, I think the usual Talonflame. I don't know what you even see on Talonflame, but ours doesn't have Gale Wings, which is kind of also a bummer, but whatever. We're gonna deal with what we've got, so let's save one more time and try and take on Gym Leader Anastasia. Hopefully Goggles is enough. Maybe Blossom will actually do some good with those new levels that she's got. We'll find out right now. Well, 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 look who it is. The hero who single-handedly to shut down the Abyssal Cult. I have to admit, that's very impressive. You have many my tanks. Uh, on behalf of everyone in this town, Lugia flew off after Audrey disappeared. The storms faded away and we cleared the streets of all water. Everything looks like it's going to be alright. But let's not keep you waiting any longer. You came for a gym battle, right? Allow me to introduce myself. You know, officially. My name is Anastasia, the leader of the Kepler City Gym. The theme of my gym is machinery, as I specialize in steel and electric types. I have to admit, I'm pretty excited for this battle. I mean, it's not every day you get to beat someone who dismantled the cult. That's right, recognize the power of the poop hat. So let's take on the fifth gym leader in Pokemon Insurgents. You might have beaten Audrey Mose, but you won't far a day against me. I don't know what that means, but... Okay, whoa, really cool battle arena here. She's got all the scrap metal under her feet and everything. Looks really awesome. I actually think that's also her hair. Um, now I feel really bad that I called her hair poop. Whoops! Well, she's got a full team of six Pokemon, and starting off will be Kleki. Um, so not the worst matchup, actually, for Blossom. Until we get paralyzed, that is. That's actually pretty terrible. With Flame Charge, though, it's not like it's priority. It just gives us a little bit of speed. So maybe we'll still be able to outspeed it with our Flame Charge, as long as we don't get paralyzed hacks. Oh boy, here comes the Substitute. The Substitute Leftovers Klefki, that's actually pretty annoying, but usually when I look at Klefki, I think more of like a prankster with spikes and stuff like that, at least from back when I used to play more competitive battling. That's about all the Klefkis you would see. Nowadays, I'm not sure, especially in Pokemon Insurgents, it looks like whatever it might be, it runs Substitute, and we get Paralyzed Hacks twice in a row. Oh boy, maybe, oh, there it is, the Swagger, that's also a thing that Klefki likes to do, huh? Maybe I have a full restore though. At least I have a full heal, but I'm not sure if full heal actually also works on confusion. Um, but I guess we'll find out. That's actually something I've never thought about. So let's find out if I do have a full heal, that is, which I do not. All right, I love it. I love it so much. Um, I don't even have a, oh, I do have a paralyzed heal at least. Okay. Well, since he did swagger us up, um, now we have more attack at least. And just kidding. This thing's got foul play as well, which if you don't know, actually does damage based on your opponent's attack stat, and since we've got a plus two right now, that's actually gonna do a bunch of damage. I'm waiting for the Thunder Wave. I know you're going for it, come on. Oh no, another foul play, okay. Well actually, with this um, plus two attack right now from Swagger, we might be able to do a lot more damage to it if we can break through Thunder Wave. Yes we do. Come on Klefki, go down in one hit, no! We barely took it out there, and I have a feeling he's going to go for another Swagger here, but I'm going to risk it anyway. The Flame Charge actually makes us faster than him, even with Paralyzed, which is what I was hoping for. So there we go. Blossom actually comes out on top in the end anyway. The Klefki was a good strat, Anastasia. It was a good start for you, but 
not good enough. So Magnezone is coming out next, and these things like to magnet rise, but they don't naturally have levitate. So if we can just send goggles in here, take it out before it even has a chance to strike us down, we're actually uh, gonna give you pretty good. Never mind, because it's got uh, air balloon. Why didn't I think about air balloon? Um, I guess we could go for a dracon voice. I don't think steel resists dragon, so. We'll just go for it and see how much damage it does, and either way, if we don't take it out, we'll pop that air balloon, then we can earth power the next turn and just easily take it down. See, there's the problem too, is we've got a lot of air balloons, and guess what? Looks like I was wrong yet again! Steel does resist dragon, I had a hunch about it, but I didn't want to believe it because it's kind of hoping we would take down this guy very easily. Um, the good thing is, he's still slower than us, he's a very, very slow chunk of metal, so even though that flash cannon did quite a lot there, we're not going to get taken down. Alright, so far so good, we've taken down two of our Pokemon, and Metagross is actually up next, which is, I feel, something that Fedoro can handle a little bit, because of being half Psychic type and still no longer resisting Dark, we can get off a few crunches. Oh, is she actually gonna have the Mega Metagross? If she does, then we should not even waste any time here. Oh boy, the Mega Device, whatever device it might be, as Mega Metagross comes out, this thing was a pain to deal with in Omega Ruby uh, with, when Steven had it, so it's probably going to be just as annoying here. The good thing is we've got Rocky Helmet and we've got our crunching, and Fedora looks like he can actually tank out a lot of his hits, so we'll wait for another Meteor Mash. Uh-oh. Actually, here comes Earthquake, which will probably kill us. Never mind. At least he learns. He doesn't want to get Rocky Helmeted anymore. So you know what, Fedora? You're doing pretty good right now. The power of the Fedora is coming through. So we're gonna heal you up, even though I don't have too many Hyper Potions left. Oh boy, why did I forget to stock up on items? The bane of my existence in Pokemon, never healing up or stocking up on items. I always, always forget to do that. Um, if we could get some defense lowers with this crunch though, that would also be pretty fantastic. I don't know if that affects Rocky Helmet, but maybe it does. Is it even crunch that lowers uh, defense though? I think it is, but I, we've probably done it earlier in the playthrough and I remember it from somewhere, but feel like it is, we're just not getting very lucky with those, but we are getting lucky with our Rocky Helmets, so let's keep that going. I was about to heal up Blossom on accident, and that would have turned out pretty bad. So one more Meteor Mash, and now a Crunch should take it down. The Rocky Helmet is doing work for us right now, and no more Hyper Potions, or no more Full Restores for you, Anastasia. Aw oh, man, I would have loved it if the Fedora took it down there, that would have been awesome, because... I don't know, I always love taking down the enemy's Pokemons with a Rocky Helmet, it just feels like, feels bad man, you know? That's exactly what it feels like, it feels bad man. So Electivire is next, um, I think Goggles would be the best to take that down with, but Goggles is at half HP right now, so we'll send out Mistake for a little bit and maybe tank out. Does Mistake actually have Toxic? I think I gave it to her, or no I didn't, I gave her Benno Shock. yeah that's what it is. Um, we could still go for a Psycho Boost, but <clears throat> in case we do get one shot, which is always a possibility, let's just heal up Goggles for now. And this Electivire does have an Air Balloon as well. I was guessing that most of her Pokemon would either have Levitate or Air Balloons. They don't, <clears throat> uh, they don't actually have the Levitate ability, but they do have the Air Balloon, which basically gives them Levitate. And holy moly, the damage on that Psycho Boost was unreal there. So now we can easily, easily take this thing down with a Moon Blast. Even your double team is not enough for the power of the Moon, boy. You know how big the Moon is? Dude, you can't dodge that. No matter how many Shadow Clones you make, you will go down to that. So now Aegislash is the next Pokemon. And I don't think... Yeah, Aegislash definitely no Levitate on that one. It might have an Air Balloon, but even if it does, uh, Fedoro could always come in and handle that with Crunch as well. Fedoro's actually been a surprise... Surprise, um, powerhouse in this gym. So we'll go for a Dracon voice, going immediately for the, what is it, transformation? I don't know what that's even called. What is that ability? King's, King Shield is the thing that transforms it back, but I forget what this thing's ability is called. The thing that keeps swipping it, switching it back and forth. Uh, but there goes the air balloon. Dracon voice does a ton of damage there because of it switching it to, um, to its attacking form. But, well, we had to lose a Pokemon eventually, I guess, and it had to be that guy first. Goggles, not that girl, actually. Um, so let's go into Tusk, who I don't think will get one-shot by anything this Aegislash might have. The only problem I have now is our main attacker is down. He's going to go for Shadow Sneak. I guess just thinking, you know, I'm done, Zo. Let's go. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? 
Oh no, that's the worst feeling is when you take it down and it's like 1 HP. Ah, he's slower, that's why. He was just like, yeah, I'm not gonna outspeed you. But maybe if he'd gone for Flash Cannon, he could have taken out Tusk there. Was not trusting in herself there, Anastasia. But the final Pokemon here is going to be Rotom. And it's gonna be actually Washington. Oh boy. Washington form Rotom. Not a big fan of this thing because it's uh, pretty much only weak to grass type. It does have levitate. So I think if I would have set up some dragon dances with Tusk here, it would have been really good. Do you really have hidden power ice, bro? Come on. One HP survival. Wow. Gotta say we got pretty lucky there. Pretty lucky. But I think our best shot to actually take down Washington here, our very own Rotom from so long ago, is to just set up more Dragon Dances. I mean, that Hidden Power is not doing... Oh my god. Gotta love Critical Hits, man. You gotta love them. I probably should have just gone for Dragon Claw there, but who the heck counted on getting a Critical Hit there? For real, though. Alright, well, Blossom's pretty much dead already, so... We can use this chance to check if I've got any other healing items. Nope, we just got Fresh Water and Super Potions. Oh boy. Oh boy, here's when things start to get tough for me because we are gotten down to the last Pokemon and now I have no items left. We're, we're resorting down to the freshwater that we literally made fun of that guy for giving it to us because who the heck is going to use a freshwater at this point in the game, you know? When your Pokemon are so high HP, turns out I'm going to be the one to use one. So Blossom will finally go down, but hey, we got Mistake back up to almost full, so maybe a Psycho Boost. Um... I feel like none of Rotom's attacks can really take down Mistake in one boot or in one attack, so we'll go for a Psychic and then, um, oh well, there goes Hydro Pump. Maybe we shouldn't have, because yeah, now we're definitely not good enough HP. Ooh, a special defense drop. That is really, really good for us. And uh, Hydro Pump hits, so we're going to be taken down. I was kind of hoping that, that would miss, and then, you know, our Psycho Boost would have probably taken it down, so now our only choice is Morgana, but the good thing is we did get the special defense drop with Psychic, so now we just gotta hope that uh, these Thunderbolts do some decent damage, and yep, the Hydro Pumps miss. We just gotta get lucky at this point, and no we don't because guess what, Thunderbolt does about a billion and a half damage, so just survive. Nope, not even gonna go for the Hydro Pump, that's it. Anastasia gave up, guys. There it is, Morgana once again with another victory for us, though I think Haxorus would have done pretty good there if we didn't get critical hit, but you know, can't count on that. Don't get too excited, you'll change state. Yeah, will you change state? Will your poop become from a solid to a liquid? That's kind of gross. No, seriously, that was an awesome battle. And we'll get the circuit badge, but there's no noise, so... We'll, uh, we'll throw one in there. It's standard to give a TM too, right? Here you go! Thunderbolt! Wow, I'm so glad I used up all of that experience last episode, training up Morgana to get Thunderbolt, and we were just gonna get it here. Oh boy, it's the generic electric type move that always has a use. I'm off to work on a side project. I'll be in my workshop under the gym if you need me. Just don't come in for a while. I'm working on something, uh, private. I don't really want to know what that is. So that's going to be the end of this episode. We took down the poop gym leader. We are the true wearer, the true bearer of the poop hat. There can be only one, and it turns out it was us. Except that was actually her hair, so I was just being really, really rude that entire time. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.